In my previous Doodly video, we took a tour of how to use the basics of the Doodly program. Doodly has what are called assets. These include scenes, which are already put together for you, in addition to individual characters and animals, as well as inanimate objects. But what happens if you don't like any of the assets that Doodly has? What happens if you want something else? What happens if you like your own stuff better? Well, you can import your own images. Let's take a look at how this is done. I've already opened Doodly and created a blank scene right here. If you're going to import your own images, you're probably going to have two different places where you can get them. You may already have an image that you want to use, or you may not have that image and you have to go someplace to get it, and I'm going to show you both options. In order to import your image, and I'll already tell you that this image is going to be of a dog. Now up here, remember, if you saw my previous video on Doodly Basics, Right here you have scenes, and then you have characters, props, text, and music. Well, if we're going to import our dog, then we're not going to be importing it into the characters place. I have imported um, things into the wrong place before. So anyway, you want to try to keep these as organized as you can. So you're going to hit props, and then down here there's this button. And you're going to hit the button and then go Browse Files, and then you'll browse wherever your image is, and mine is in a folder under Importing Your Own Images. So I'll just hit that, and then hit Open, Continue, and then not only will it pull it in here where all of your assets are, uh, it will also pull it in in your scene. So here's your dog. So this is if you already have the dog. Now, if you don't have the dog, if you want to get it from somewhere else, then you can always go to some copyright-free sites to get that image. And the one that I use is called Pixabay. So here we have Pixabay right here. I've already logged in. Logging in doesn't mean I'm paying for anything. Logging in keeps them from asking me, from giving me those robot tests, you know, where it says pick out the traffic lights, pick out the buses, and all that stuff. So if you don't want to go through that hassle, just make sure that you log in. Okay, right here on Pixabay, pixabay.com, you're going to do the search, and I'll just do a general search for dog. And then I'll, actually I'm looking for all images. Now Pixabay, this has pulled up all the images for the dog, but you don't have to, And but down here you have all the types of images you have photos of dogs, vector graphics of dogs, illustrations of dogs. So it just kind of depends on the kind of dog you want. The one I had already was a vector graphic. So I'm going to hit vector graphic and see what kind of vector graphics I have for dogs. And not going to lie, I picked dogs to show you this because I knew I was going to have a billion options on this one. So basically, you scroll down and you look at all the pictures of all these cute little nuggets, and then you pick the one that you want. So I kind of like this one. So I'll pick this picture of the collie, and then I'll collect it, and then I will download it, pick the size I want, hit download, and then it will download. So right here is my open file and it automatically went to my downloads folder. So I'm going to need to go to my downloads folder and look for it. So here we go. The downloads folder and here is my dog. So I'm going to move it out of my Downloads folder onto my desktop. And then I will hit that button, Browse Files, 
and go to my desktop and I should see the Kali that I downloaded and there it is. Open, continue, and it's going to pull the Kali in. So those are two ways in which you can can import your own images if you don't like the dogs that Doodly offers you. There's a downside to doing this, though. When you import these images from another place, Doodly doesn't understand how to draw them. So there's a method in which you can get around that, and it's called the trace function in, in Doodly. I'm going to do that um, on an, another video, but let's preview this to see what it looks like when it draws it. Now see when it draws this, it doesn't look like it's really drawing anything. It just looks like it's sort of erasing them on, so to speak. And so if you like that, that's okay. If you don't, your other option is to change the timer and just make them appear on and not have them do that if it's too distracting. Or you can use the trace function. The trace function I found is good if your drawings are simple, not like drawings like this one. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use the trace function. But anyway, this is how you import images into Doodly.